I've been an architect for 30 years, and I guess I've had a number of projects that were pretty interesting. Uh, we came to California about eight years ago, but before that I ran a practice in New York for about 22 years. Uh, I, we worked for lots of different cultural institutions, some that you'd recognize, like the Metropolitan Museum of Art. We have a, a long tenure at that institution doing galleries and different kinds of support facilities for them, but learned a lot about the museum world. Uh, in New York, we've done projects like the restoration of Bryant Park, uh, behind the New York Public Library, which is kind of a major urban project for which we actually received a, uh, an AIA, uh, American Institute of Architects Award for urban planning for the restoration of that, you know, what was a derelict space in the middle of New York and kind of now it's probably one of the more happening places in the city. Uh, but we wound up working with lots of other museums, the New York Hall of Science, uh, the New York Convention and Visitors Bureau, uh, some projects that people might recognize is, are, you know, we've done the uh, the wavy Dis Walt Disney sign in Times Square for the ABC TV studios. So we were very involved with uh, a lot of the revitalization of the Times Square area of, uh, of Manhattan. And uh, I guess somehow in in '03, uh, trying to create a little bit different life adventure, we wound up here in Santa Barbara, and uh, we're now kind of happy Californians. So. Uh, you know, it's taken it's taken a little bit of time to kind of get settled into Santa Barbara, but you know, between finding now cultural type projects and educational projects like Antioch University, for one, and we're also doing the a new master plan for the Santa Barbara Museum of Art. Uh, it's turned out to be a pretty interesting life here in Santa Barbara. We've had some pretty fast track jobs in our lifetime, but th this tends to be one of the one of the hallmarks uh, we had done a very large gallery project for the Metropolitan in very record time and I think that Antioch scheduled to move from their existing facility on Garden Street to this new Anacota Plaza building really required that everybody involved in the project understand that this had some very tight time constraints and I have to admit through another great act of tremendous teamwork on the part of staff at Antioch and my staff in, the, in, in our office to work the wee hours of the night and the and the builders who are here to help facilitate at least this first phase of construction that we're just completing today really happened in five weeks from start to finish and it really is kind of a remarkable event anywhere but most remarkable here in Santa Barbara. Uh, we've been working in Santa Barbara for about eight years and it's it, largely when we got here it was mostly residential work but you know now that yeah, I think that our experience profile that we really developed in New York, well, we did do residential work, you know, we, we did a lot of work on museum planning and different kind of cultural institutions, so I think we're finding our niche here in Santa Barbara again and beginning to work with different local institutions as well as having fun doing, you know, houses on the side. Our first assessment when we got introduced to the project to come and visit this building was to really try to get a sense of how the university might fit into this particular space. And uh, I think amazing to everyone, uh, including us to some extent, was how good a fit this transition turned out to be uh, between the multi-story aspect of the building and how the building gets to apportion itself, especially, you know, here we are sitting on this fabulous terrace level for the building which will house administrative functions and faculty offices as well as classrooms, there's a social aspect to the design that we think, you know, is fostered by just the bare bones of what the building is. And we really try to carry that through with the rest of the project. Uh, the lower level that's below us, which is has a tall enough ceiling height space in this building to develop a, yet a new floor will give us a kind of mezzanine level throughout that building. And I think that a lot of what we've done was to try to foster the sense of both community and openness and transparency in all of the spatial relationships that we've tried to create. So downstairs, there's a very open aspect to the plan. I mean, you know, you kind of enter into a large volume space. There's a floating library on the second floor that overlooks the first floor. 
uh, lots of the student service activities that are housed in offices are housed in spaces that are behind translucent walls. So there's a lot about light penetration and visibility and, you know, just the sense of general transparency that, you know, we think fosters a kind of academic relationship. You know, it fosters communication in a way that I think will be a new hallmark for Antioch at this facility.